Not all emergencies are the same. Size, location, and complexity affect the emergency response at UNICEF. But no matter the challenges, we respond with essential supplies before, during, and after. This is how. UNICEF prepositions additional supplies for contingency stock in its over 220 warehouses in over 70 countries. And in anticipation of this emergency, we constantly develop and repack kits that contain essential supplies. The first days of an emergency are the critical ones. UNICEF conducts rapid assessments to determine the needs of affected children and their families and immediately mobilize available supplies. Depending on the emergency, we deliver supplies like shelter, equipment, interagency emergency health kits, wash, dignity, and acute water diarrhea kits. We mobilize education and early childhood development kits to provide stability and structure for children caught in traumatic situations. And to facilitate the quick scale-up of our response, we deploy supply colleagues to provide frontline support during emergencies. The response can be slowed down by challenges like access, level of cooperation, and security. But equally, the response is accelerated by strong collaboration with governments, UN agencies, NGOs, and local partners. And of course, the incredible commitment and hard work of our UNICEF colleagues on the ground. But our work does not stop at delivery. We stay on the ground to help system recovery and rebuild a better future for children. While immediate response is crucial, the recovery and reconstruction phase are equally important to address the long-term needs and to limit the impact of future emergencies, we capture the lessons learned and apply them to strengthen systems. So before, during and after, UNICEF remain at the front line of emergency response for every child.